how to save yourself from the negative people and is it possible in your workplace because there is a lot of people here that you are dealing with every day how you can be more positive in your everyday life and how to avoid the negative people? workplace is a social environment and you can't avoid the people completely so in this video i am going to help you to create positive boundaries in your workplace how to identify the negative people and what are the preparations that you are needed to become stay positive and how to handle the people in your workplace hi i'm dragi narayana a joyful lifestyle coach and today i will help you how you can protect yourself from the negative people and atmosphere mainly in the workplace so how be positive in workplace especially if you are working with a lot of people and you don't know how the people are influencing you the workplace is a social environment and you can't avoid the people in that completely so today i am going to tell you how you will become more positive in your workplace and how you can avoid the negative people and how you will set or create the positive boundaries with the people in your workplace so there are two areas that i am going to that is the self and the surroundings first you want to be stay positive and you want to be avoid or you want to be keep a boundary between the negative people and you so in the self that is yourself how you can protect from the negative people and the atmosphere in workplace mainly there are a lot of people are involving and we want to be work with some people and we will get some team work or there should be some collaboration with the people are there so how you can protect from the negative people and the negative atmosphere so first thing that you want to know that is a self note you want to create your self note so maybe you are confused about what is the self note that i want to create that is don't be an open book for all the people in your workplace if you are sharing all your personal things and your emotions and your every personal characters that will leads people will misunderstand you some ways so please make a self note who you are and what is your general things that is where are you from and what are the works that you can do and how you can be in this part of this team work or anything else so please make a self note and this will help you that is if a person is coming to your department or your workplace is a new person the other people also have the connection with this person and they will tell about the general idea of the workplace and the people so in that also you will get a clarity of your self positioning so please make a self note of yourself and the second thing that is very important one that is no loose talk that means you are connecting with a lot of people and you are participating the loose talks happening in the workplace that will make more serious issues later because this loose talk only the people will attract the negative vibes so if you want to be stay self positive don't go for a loose talk it will attract the negative people then the third thing is that healthy boundaries so what is this healthy boundary everybody is saying that you want to be keep healthy boundaries with the people around you so there are a lot of factors are affecting this self healthy boundaries how you are talking to the people in your workplace because if you are talking like a normal way that is you are available in all time the people will take that advantage so please make sure that you are keeping a boundary with the other persons so they will know that you are like this type of person we can't go and connect with the person like any time if you are following something there is it may be in your workplace attention or discipline the people will not ask you for the help when you are doing something so that is also a healthy boundary because people know that the persons around you know that you are doing this work and you are 
very much disciplined in that work nobody will enter inside of that work and they will do their opinion or suggestion so you will get a privacy in your workplace that is whatever you are doing you are doing it with discipline so these are the healthy boundaries that you can keep it in your workplace so the self is very important in your workplace to stay positive always the first one you want to make a self note and second one don't participate in the loose talk and third one make healthy boundaries and you are areas what are the things that you are following give a general idea to the people very consciously and the second thing that we are going to discuss as a surrounding how you can be protect you from the negative people or the negative surroundings so the first thing in your surroundings is that it may be of a workplace is a teamwork or otherwise is scheduled work so you should take the right decisions in your workplace area and your work and you should give the straight forward answers to the questions in your workplace sometimes you are telling that it may be like this i'm done or i will take this much of time i don't know how much it is so you are telling maybe that means you are not definite about it so take the right decisions in your workplace and straight forward answering to the people in your workplace and the second thing is that practice to say no if you are really disciplined in your work and you are accurate in your work there is no need to accept all the things and you are working for multitasking like if you are not really interested to do some work somebody is pushing you to do that work because nobody else is there you should keep this work also you just do it and finish it like that somebody is telling if you are not able to take that you just tell them that is yes, i can't do it because i have already this much of work and maybe after this or otherwise i will finish it first one then i will take it the second one. so practice to say no and what is the third one be confident in work so whatever people that will come inside of you your workplace and you are working boundaries that is you are not much confident in your work maybe some people are very confident in their practical work but they are not that much experienced in the uh, theoretical part of that job some people are very interested and very talented in the theoretical part of that job but they are not trained in that practical part of that job so be confident in work that will make you positive because you are doing the work that you know exactly what you are going to do so be confident in work and if you have to ask for help you just ask for specific helps that is which area of the problem that you are facing you ask for that help not for the complete work so be confident in your workplace that will avoid the people will interacting you any time and what is the fourth point that is don't listen to negative gossips because if you are working and the workplace contains a lot of people and there should be some talk about you also will be there but don't listen to what people are telling about you because the gossips will not be the reality so don't think about what are the gossips or what are the things negative thoughts or talks happening in the workplace about you so these are the surrounding factors that you want to be stay positive you want to follow these four steps or four points the first one take the right decision and straight forward and practice to say no and be confident in your work and avoid the distractions of people into your work and fourth one don't listen to the negative gossips even if you are listening about you the positive things you just be take it as a neutral don't want to respond for that so every time it will be changing stay positive in your workplace by following the self and surrounding factors that will help you to avoid the negative people and you can protect yourself and you will enjoy your working be positive in your workplace and protect yourself from the negative people and atmosphere mainly in your 
workplace so how you can do that make your self note and you should be keep healthy boundaries and in surroundings you just be straightforward and make the decisions of yourself and don't go for loose talk and if somebody is telling about you some gossips are happening in your workplace don't think about it so i will give you an example from my experience that is i will tell to the people in my workplace when i was working as a professional that is when you are working in a specific period of time then you just imagine that after 10 or 20 years you just go to the same department or the place workplace and ask that is this type of person or this name person was working here do you know about that person the people will say you that is they don't have any idea so whatever that you are feeling in your workplace now it's very very temporary it will not make you a big issue in your life so if you are working with a passion and you are really interested to work and if you are very self disciplined in your workplace then there is no issue you can go with any type of people and you can deal with any type of people so that is not about the people are negative or positive but you want to keep yourself positive always don't participate in the loose talk in your workplace that will make you more self positive and you will get more concentration in your work if you are watching this video in youtube please like this video and subscribe my channel and i've given a link below you can click that link and join the fp group there i will give you a more instruction and ideas about how you can be more confident and successful in your workplace so click the link below and join the fb group i will see you in the fb group